Hi, Rodrigo. Nice to see that you sent us your first set of essays. Let's take a look at this set. Okay, the first one is about schools being more entertaining. Let's see what you wrote. Schools teaching methodologies are a constant matter of debate. It is often attested that curricula that are more entertaining could be beneficial compared to standard ones. I strongly agree that it is correct and the reasons that justify choosing those will be discussed. Okay, um, it's fine. I was a little concerned with this choosing those. It's not entirely clear what those refers to. Um, simply because in the previous sentence you had a couple of plurals. So you had curricula that are more entertaining, and then you had standard ones. So it's not entirely clear what those refers to. Okay? So that's the one weak spot here, but other than that, it's fine. All right. First, it is vastly known that fun activities are more comfortable to learn. The human brain tends to be much more activated and therefore readily available to establish new connections and memory associations if engaged to activities capable of triggering pleasurable feelings. Pleasure feelings. I'm sorry. I automatically said pleasurable because that's what it should have been, not pleasure feelings. That can be seen even in a daily example, no comma here, where it is common to identify children that can remember almost every line of the favorite cartoon character of an entire movie. Therefore, natural brain response is an excellent ally in order to teach any desirable content. All right, so I had a couple of questions about this paragraph. Um, I didn't understand this. Fun activities are more comfortable to learn. What does that mean? Uh, it didn't really make a lot of sense to me. It, in other words, it's more comfortable to learn a fun activity, or do you really mean that it is more comfortable um, to learn something when a fun activity is involved. Okay, so it's a different meaning and this just felt really kind of strange to me. Um, and this was fine. And then you talked about movie characters, but how does this relate back to school? And what are you suggesting? Like, are you suggesting any type of fun activities? So, let's see. I mean, you talked about this daily example, but you haven't really told us how any of this is applicable to school uh, and how potentially a school could become more entertaining. So, while I like a lot of what I read, I didn't really feel like you grabbed that topic and really truly talked about it particularly because of the example that you gave us. If you had given us some sort of an example of a school activity that is engaging and enjoyable and, and you know, and, and triggers pleasurable feelings, then I would have been like, okay, fine. But you didn't really totally do that here. Okay, let's move on. Secondly, favoring an entertaining school environment is one of the best forms of preventing premature school dropouts during the child development. Many of them, who is them, you haven't mentioned any people here or any plurals. I'm so uh, dropouts, maybe. So this is confusing. Maybe you should have just said many students begin to think about the necessity of the school itself, especially during adolescence and markedly and markedly in low resource area where many students feel quite formal education in order to work. Ah, do you mean quit? I think you mean quit formal education in order to work. In South America, some governments adopted an alternative curriculum driven by the students' necessities and preferences and as a consequence, drastically reducing the number of withdrawals. All right. Um, you haven't really talked about the topic again here. Um, you told us why we should have... Um, a fun environment. You said that it will decrease, um, it'll decrease the dropouts, but that's not what they're asking you. Look at the question again, Rodrigo. It's saying some people think schools have to be more entertaining while others think they should just educate. Um, and you're not saying, you're not answering either one of those ideas. You're just saying that you know, if you don't want kids to drop out, have an entertaining school. But that's not talk, t that's not covering what the question asks you to talk about, okay? So I really want you as you progress in the course to pay attention to the essay question, see what they're asking you, really, really make sure that 
your whole answer is really firmly locked into the question that they're answer asking you and that everything in that essay um, is written in order to directly deal with that question. Okay, so uh, let's move on. In conclusion, given that, uh, what? Given that there are proven biological reasons, eh, no comma here, and also already successful practical experiences, I believe that all schools should review their programs to create an entertaining atmosphere, much more suitable to the actual student's needs. This should probably be S apostrophe. By doing so, that will undoubtedly enhance their educational results. Okay, well, the nice thing is, is that a lot of your grammar and a lot of your vocabulary are really strong. And so that's um, a real positive, okay? You've got that definitely in your favor. So what I'm hoping we can work on is making sure that you really, um, really hit the um, task achievement portion uh, right on the head, okay? So um, as we work together, that's what I... Um, I want you to work on. That's one thing. Let's see what else you wrote because uh, now we have the enjoyable activity essay. So let's see what you said here. Developing useful skills and creativity are cornerstones of children's education. To achieve that goal, some may argue that fun activities could be more beneficial than reading. I partially agree with that statement given that both approaches can be applied with better overall results and the reasons that justify this opinion will be discussed. Excellent. Beautiful. I loved it. Now let's see what you said. Firstly, it is vastly known that endurable activities are much more comfortable to learn. Yeah, again, this comfortable to learn. It just doesn't make sense to me. I think you mean something else. I think you mean they make learning more pleasurable, more enjoyable, but you don't mean this. The biology of the human brain has a clear tendency to establish more associations and connections when the knowledge to be acquired is related to fun and pleasure. Consequently, many different areas of learning can be agglutinated into entertaining dynamics. For example, sports and computer games represent icons of that sort of learning experience, where many games are addressed at this where many areas, sorry, are addressed at the same time, such as concentration, teamwork notions, body coordination abilities, and spatial awareness. Therefore, in order to develop those skills, enjoyable activities are a fundamental segment of learning programs. Okay, so this read really easily. You could see that I got through it rather quickly. Um, the grammar, everything was really well controlled. I wasn't really a fan of this word, as I believe it's used in different contexts, not quite here. Um, here you are basically talking about you're in favor of these enjoyable activities. You mentioned sports and computer games, um, and you mentioned all these different abilities that can be covered. So that was well done. Uh, I want to see what you wrote now in the second paragraph. So secondly, it is not possible by any means to overlook the essential benefits of reading. The ability to abstractly build and use pure imagination to comprehend the information that is given only with words is one of the most significant achievements of the children's maturing. That's awkward. It is one of the most significant achievements of children's maturation. So get rid of the and make this maturation here. In that sense, there is no other activity that could e even nearly substitute reading. Anyone that is able to read can testify how pleasant and touching it is to construct your own interpretation of a famous book. Thus, that experience is fundamental to uh, get rid of the children's learning process. Okay. In conclusion, I believe that the combination of the learning benefits of enjoyable activities and reading should be the strategy of choice for an improved overall assessment of children's skill evolution. All right, lovely. Um, so here's the thing. This is really beautifully written. Your language level is clearly at a very high level, and I'm very pleased to see that. Um, it read nicely. It read easily. Um, it, it, it. It was a very high level essay. However, there are still a couple of things that we need to work on. Okay? So, um, let's take a look at this. First of all, can develop better skills and creativity. That was the first thing. You talked about skills here, and here you talked about imagination. Okay? Um, but you kind of did, I, I guess you kind of did. I would have liked to have seen some mention of the word creativity, okay? Um, now here's another thing that I want to talk about in terms of coherence and cohesion. I disagree with your usage of the words first and secondly, because if you think about it, these are kind of opposing viewpoints, 
All right. So here you're talking about these activities and how they're helpful in so many things. So it's almost like you could have used an on the one hand or on the other hand, or not necessarily. Maybe you could have used something even higher level than that. Um, you could have used nothing here. In fact, just start with it is vastly known, etc., etc. And then you could say, however, it is not possible by any means to overlook the essential benefits of reading. Now that makes more sense to me in terms of, of cohesion, coherence and cohesion, in terms of organizing your paragraphs. Um, so um, as I mentioned before, I was a little concerned. I, but reading this again, I can see that this is where you are covering the idea of creativity. I think I would have just felt a little more comfortable if you had actually used the word creative or creativity at some point. But I mean, I, you've pretty much covered it. Um, so I don't, I mean, that's just me being, um, you know, a little detail oriented, but you certainly don't have to. I think you've done a very nice job of it. Um, and I'll tell you something else. I'm actually really, really happy that you also talked about the advantages of reading. I will be honest with you and tell you that very few people who, um, who write this essay do that. Um, and I think the fact that you have covered it and you've covered both sides, I think it's a great strategy for this essay. Um, so well done. Go ahead now and correct these essays. Uh, there were just a few things that um, I suggested. So I want you to correct them and then uh, send those corrections back to us. You're also going to start an error correction list where you write down the errors that are pointed out to you and um, next to each error what the corrected version would be. So that's a list you're going to add to with each essay correction you get back. And then of course uh, I expect a th uh, another set of essays from you. So. Uh, try to get that all to us in the next day or so and apply everything you've been learning so far. All right, so I'll be waiting for your next set of essays and I wish you good luck.